All right, y'all. So update on Bishop T.D. Jakes from his daughter and his son-in-law, which we're going to get into in a second. Um, so I was on live stream yesterday and my comment section or my chat started flooding with comments about T.D. Jakes. And I thought that y'all were joking. I thought y'all were joking. And then I actually looked into it and I watched the video and all that type of stuff. And legitimately, my heart really felt for T.D. Jakes in that moment. And, um, you know, it's, 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 it's scary, bro. Like, I don't care how many disagreements you have and whatever issue that you might have with T.D. Jakes. And I'm not going to sit here and act like I agree with everything that T.D. Jakes has said from a theological standpoint. Um, I'm not going to sit here and act like, you know, some of the things, some of the rumors and allegations that we heard. I'm not going to sit here and act like that isn't crazy and that's not concerning. But to see somebody have such a scary health moment and to immediately start mocking that person and to immediately start discouraging other individuals to pray for that person. I think that's not at all the heart of God. And um, it's just crazy that we have so many people who develop this hatred in their heart for an individual who they've probably never met before, they've probably never went to his church before, they've probably never interacted with anybody in his close circle, but yet you have so much hatred towards this person in your heart based on things that you've seen or heard about this person on the internet. And like I said, I don't agree with everything um, from the standpoint of T.D. Jakes, but I don't want to see somebody, I'm not going to sit here and pray for somebody's demise. I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to do it. We can pray for that person to repent. We can we can pray for that person to to turn back to God, but I'm not going to pray for their, for their demise. Um, I, I'm just that's just not me. That's not me. You know, God's going to handle it. God has the final judgment. Um, and I'm not going to sit here and, and, and cast that type of judgment to where I'm mocking somebody and laughing at somebody on a very dark moment when this individual has family, has people who genuinely care about him, you know, still has a congregation that is genuinely concerned about him. I'm not going to sit here and do that. Um, cause you never know. We could have woke up today and TD Jakes could have been dead. Right. Um, so I'm, I'm not going to sit here and, and, and entertain any of that. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, the, the people who understand what I'm saying, y'all get it. The ones who don't then. All right, then, you know what I'm saying? It's not for you. Um, let's watch this video update on TD Jake's health from his daughter, Sarah, and his son-in-law. Hey, family. Hey. I know that today's been a, an interesting day for us. It's been a tough day. But we didn't want to lay down without giving you all an update about how everything is going with Bishop. We want to thank you, first of all, for your prayers, your support, your yeah. concern. It's truly been a blessing. Yeah, we felt those prayers. Obviously, today could have been a, a, a tragic day. But it wasn't by the mercy of God, by the grace of God. Uh, Bishop is doing well. He's recovering well. He's under medical care. Uh, he's strong. We're trying to get him to sit down. He's <laughs> he's uh, the strong bishop that we know. But we really can't thank you enough for your prayers, for your intercession, for all your kind words. And, and keep it up. People are asking, what can we do? Keep praying. Uh, keep encouraging. It means a lot to our family. Yeah, I'm so grateful that he's already beginning to improve. And I think it's just a reminder, even going into this holiday season week, to love on the people who you hold near and dear and mm -hmm. just take the time to be grateful for all the people God's given you. Thank you. We love you. Appreciate you. So. So Sarah said that he's already beginning to improve. Um, I came across this article what is this advertisement about, bro? This is crazy. I came across this article on USA Today. It says, what we know about T.D. Jakes' um, health condition that he had. So it says, Bishop Jakes is beginning to improve after he suffered a slight health incident during service over the weekend, according to his family and church. Jake 67 was seen in footage posted on social media, seemingly pausing his hour-long sermon on Sunday and suddenly shaking as other church members gathered around him. The Potter's House Church, non-dominational uh, church in Dallas, Texas, they released a, a statement. So I already read that statement on my last video. So if you want to see that statement, then you can pause the video and you can read the statement, um, or you can go to my last video and you can watch that because I've already read it. Um, 
so yeah, she said that, so this is just a transcript of what we just watched the video from, uh, Sarah Jakes and her husband. Um, and then, yeah, they, uh, they bring up also the spiritual mentor, uh, to, to Diddy. It says the Bishop is also a longtime spiritual mentor to Sean Diddy Combs, the record executive who was indicted for trafficking and other federal charges. So yeah, man. <laughs> It's just so crazy, man. The media is like, can you just let somebody? I, it is what it is. You know, it is what it is. It is what it is. But there it is. There's an update um, from TD Jakes. Oh, wait, there's more. It says when the video of Diddy. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. There's more. There's more. There's more. Let me see. Let me see what they said. Let me see what they said. It said when the video of Diddy allegedly abusing his girlfriend, Cassie, came out in May, uh, Jake seemingly called the footage difficult to watch atrocious degrading and demeaning debauchery during a church service at the potter's house the bishop did not say diddy's name or get into specifics about the uh, video i know i know who it was but as a man i saw my daughters and it made me angry this is what he told seventeen thousand people during the service um yeah what is this coleman uh, who is this? Oh, it's his wife. I'm sorry. I'm just looking. Oh, this is his daughter. Oh, he has another daughter? I didn't know he had another daughter. Cora Jakes Coleman. Um, so his, his daughter Cora also posted an update. Um, let me see what it said on the statement. So that she posted that. And then she said, uh, devotional time postponed to later this week. And then I think she said, just keep my family in prayer. So hold on, let me pause it. Please just keep me and my family in your prayers. So, um, I didn't, so Cora Jakes, I didn't even know he had another daughter. Yeah, man. Um, there it is. I don't know what y'all are so upset about from a prayer standpoint. Um, I, I don't get it. It doesn't make sense. I'm not going to do that because I know that goes that leads down a dangerous path. You're, you're leading yourself down a path of pride. Um, you're leading yourself down a path of thinking that somebody can't be redeemed when, in fact, everybody can be redeemed. You know, the only thing that's unredeemable is blasphemy of the Holy Spirit, right? So besides that, everybody can be redeemed. So I think we should be praying for T.D. Jakes, that God heals him, and that, you know, whatever is going on, these allegations, whatever's happening, that he repents of that and turns away from all that stuff and you know, gets right for the sake of T.D. Jakes, obviously, but also for the sake of his congregation, you know, like there's a lot of people who follow T.D. Jakes, a lot of people who who lean on his ministry um, as a, a source of discipleship. So I don't understand why there's so much hatred, you know, in people's hearts regarding this situation. It's just, it's disheartening and it's discouraging. Um, but let me know what y'all think. Get in my comments, like this video. I'm out, y'all.